नमस्कार आई एम कुसुम प्रसाद एंड यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग ई विद्या चैनल नंबर नाइन एंड दिस इज मैथमेटिक्स सेशन फॉर क्लास नाइन स्टूडेंट्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड चैप्टर नाइन चैप्टर नंबर सिस्टम पार्ट सिक्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स अवर टुडे इज एक्सपर्ट इज मिसिज बीना प्रकाश मैम वेलकम मैम नमस्कार नमस्ते गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल माई लर्नर्स Good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am is senior PGT mathematics teacher from Campion School, Bhopal. So, dear students and learners, you can send your feedback. You can contact us through phone number eight eight zero zero four four zero five five nine, and you can also email us on our email ID that is dth dot class nine at the rate ciet dot nic dot in. and before we begin this session we want to share a very important information regarding g20 we are proud that india assumed the g20 presidency and will convene the g20 leaders summit for the first time in the country in 2023 a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism india g20 presidency would be a watershed moment in our history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solution for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of vasudhev kutumbakam or the world is one family so now we move to our session mathematics session for class 9 students aur hum seedhe ruk karte hain bina ma'am ki taraf yes ma'am yes hello everyone so till last class humne kya dekha tha ki what are numbers what type of numbers are real numbers and then uska representations theek hai ab today we will take a irrational number ka uh, locating an irrational number on the number line so that means hamare paas ye ek number line hai isme hame mark karna hai ek irrational number now the problem is see if you mark any point on it any point that you mark on it like if i mark this point that it's known as 1 1 is just a minute yes one that we have here is an integer theek okay? hai so i have marked one which is integer a rational number hence real number if all things okay now if i mark something in between 1 and 2 like if i am marking somewhere here so it looks like it is somewhere in the middle of 1 and 2 so what will this point be this point will be nothing but 1.5 that is it's a rational number which is expressed as 15 on 10 if remove the decimals and you cancel by 5 that is bring it to the lowest term it becomes 3 upon 2 so we have converted into a fraction so the point that we marked on this number line is expressed with the form of 3 upon 2 though we took it as a decimal number we, but we got get it in the form of 3 upon 2 now 3 upon 2 it's in the form of p upon q that's it's a rational number and so likewise we could manage to mark some points on this so whatever points we have Like you have one more point, like you take a point nearest to it. It is, it may be 1.7 nearest point that I can see is 1.7. So it's a number between 1.5 and 1.7. You can still mark some numbers. But what are we actually marking? We are marking certain numbers which we could express in the form of decimals, and those de decimals are terminating decimals. Find the number points that you're marking. But what we are doing is we are finding the uh, locating the irrational number on the number line. Now, what is this irrational number? Irrational number. Just recollect, irrational numbers are those numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of p upon q. Irrational numbers they cannot be expressed cannot be expressed as p upon q. If they cannot be expressed as p upon q, how are we going to mark them? that's a very important thing now suppose you have it as a decimal number in that case the decimal representation is it is non terminating it is non terminating non recurring non recurring means it does not repeat after decimal decimals so that's the this these type of numbers are known as irrational so we are into trouble how to mark such points because what we are used to is you can mark a point which can be expressed in one point of decimal or two points of two places of decimal so they become a rational number now the question is how do we mark a rational number so for that we need to know what is the real representation how do we 
how have we represented certain rational numbers irrational numbers i'm sorry irrational number in decimals okay we have it as non terminating non recurring decimals so we look for another option that is the representation of a irrational number so what is what are numbers that we have as irrational numbers in general any number which is in the form of a radical that is under the root 5 under the root 3 that means the what you have under the root it is under the root of n where n is a positive integer n is positive integer fine i'm taking just as a positive integer just to make you understand certain things it's not necessary that it has to be positive you can even have under the root of 3.1 under the root of 5.0001 so all these numbers they are all treated as of um, irrational number that is because the number that you have under the radical sign is not a perfect square like if you look for this number root of perfect it's under the root of 4 then we find that this is not a irrational number because under the root 4 is a rational number which is 2 because 4 is a square of any number so 5 it's not a square of any integer or any rational number we have it's a square of some number we have but it's not exactly what we need so we cannot write it as we do not have this as a irrational number a rational number it's an irrational number so how do we mark all these numbers in the number on the number line so to look at this expression you look at this expression we find that this happens to be a part of this pythagorean triplet which we have already studied that is if you take up a right angle triangle if you take a right angle triangle you have two sides of a triangle one this is one side c this is another side b a and the third side b which is opposite to the right angle So we have the relation that is the hypotenuse square is sum of the squares of the other two sides. So we have b square equal to a square plus c square, which gives us the same value that is b comes out to be under the root of a square plus b square. Fine. So we can use this particular concept to locate such irrational numbers. So how do we take up this concept? Like suppose you are finding the root. root of 2 how do we locate root 2 what we do is we we'll consider root 2 as the hypotenuse we'll take it as a hypotenuse of a right angle triangle whose two sides have to be taken up now which what are the two sides that we have we take it as one unit and one unit if you have this as one unit this is one unit ab is also one unit oab in triangle oab in triangle oab angle a is 90 degree so we have this result that is ob square happens to be oa square plus ab square now what is the measure of oa i have taken it as one unit the same measure ab one unit so that sum of the two becomes 2 hence ob is root 2 so this length ob is root 2 now the question is how is it marked on this number line what we do is we will make a circle of radius root 2 that is radius ob with o as the center so when you draw a circle with o as center and this a ob as radius we'll find that it intersects the given number line this is the number line this is the number line you can see it this number line at point c so what we have is ob and oc of equal length that's the radius of that circle so what the length of oc b root 2 so that way we could mark it as on the number line now if you observe very carefully i think it is very care should be observed very carefully you see one point here besides the circle this particular point this looks like half of one in bit bit mid, mid of one and two so that point happens to be 1.5 so don't you find that the point c is slightly before 1.5 so like the value of root 2 is little less than 1.5 it's 1.41 something so we find we have located the correct point so this way we could locate one particular quantity that is root 2 now what about the rest of the numbers how do we go ahead with the rest of the numbers we have to express that as if you want to express root 3 now how do we express root 3 root 3 has to be expressed as sum of the squares of 
two numbers. So which two numbers can we take it as? We can go for root three as root three. That is three as squares of two numbers. Which two numbers shall we have it as one square and root two square? Shall we have it as one square and root two square? Yes. So, Samji, is it possible yes. to have this as one square plus root two square? Root two square is two. So, what do we have the sum of the right side? It is three only. Hence, the hypotenuse side, that is, the hypotenuse that we have is root of three, which will be root of this quantity. So, what we find is root three can be expressed as sum of squares of two numbers. Which two numbers? One is one. The other one is root two. That means we need to know where root two is first. That means you have to locate the point root two first on the number line. So we'll have to proceed this further. Further. Once again, we'll have to represent this. So we represent this on this number line. Take that point. We'll mark that point root two with the concept that we took. That is C. O A. We have O. B O the center O B length I have used this length as one unit. The same length, three divisions you can very clearly see. It's three divisions that is also treated as one unit. So we have the length of O E as one square plus one squares under root. See O E square is O B square plus B E square, which is one square plus one square that is two. So we identified root two first on this number line. This is now a number line. So we identified that O F O F that is O E is root two O E is root two with O as center and O E as radius. We'll cut an arc. You'll find that that arc will intersect the number line at point F. So this arc, that's an intersection of that arc with on the number line, gives us the length O F, which is nothing but root two. So you have identified position of root two on this number line. Now it's easy for us to get the root three on the number line. How we apply the same rule? That is, we take up root two as one side of a triangle and then perpendicular to it as one unit, and then we complete the triangle by joining the point O to G. Fine. So we have completed the triangle, right angle triangle. So what do you find as the side measure of OG? This is nothing but. Root two, so it's square, and this is one, so it's square. One square plus root two square happens to be three. Hence, this length will come out to be root three. And then, with O as center and O G as radius, we'll make a arc or draw a circle which will intersect the number line at some point, and that point happens to be the point H. So this way, we could mark the point. Root three, that is the value of root three, is marked on this number line. What is it? It is the length of O H. It's from O to H. So this length O to H, this length is root three. Now, likewise, you move further. Use this length O H with for as one side. We'll use O H as one side, and then we'll take H I again the perpendicular at H on that number line. H I perpendicular, which is of one unit. So we have a right angle triangle. This will be a 90 degree. So this happens to be a right angle triangle. O I H is a right angle triangle. Right. So whose length? This length is one, and this length is root three. So what will O I be? O I square will be O I square plus H I square, which comes out to be four. Therefore, what is O I? O I have already written. This is equal to two. So that means this circle, a circle with center O and O I as radius. If you cut an arc, you'll find that it will intersect at point J. So where is it intersecting? Isn't it intersecting at the point two, which has been marked on the number line? That means this length O I, which is equal to O J, it is actually the length of The distance between O and J, which is two, which happens to be root of four. So don't we have the exact value of root four on it? So this way we find that we can identify or locate a rational number of the type under the root on the number line. Fine.
Now the question is, see, at times it becomes little difficult for us because if you are asked to find the in, um, or locate root of suppose 15, so what is this method saying? You will have to take a one after the other each numbers. Root. That is, you take so first find locate root two, then root root three, then root four, root five, and this way. So won't it be a time taking process? So we have an alternate method. Now, before I go for that alternate method, I would like to tell you something regarding this particular thing. Like CBSC has already introduced art integration. So we have seen that we have integrated this thing in our curriculum. Like this particular concept of identifying irrational number on the number line, we have converted into an art form. We have converted into an art form. What is that? See. See, we have taken up this particular figure. In this figure, can you see this? Is it clear? We have this as length 1 and this length DE is also of length 1. So, they are of length 1 and this is length 1. So, we find that since it is a right angle triangle here, we find that the length OE, can you see that root 2? Is not it root 2? So, this OE happens to be root 2. Fine. Now, what we are doing is how we are creating an art in it is we are going for the further irrational numbers based on the consecutive integers in the form of a continuation figure that is we take this root 2 as base of a right angle triangle that means we will have to construct perpendicular at point E perpendicular to OE. So we construct OEF perpendicular to OE at E and then take EF of one unit. One, we are bringing in the same concept. That is, we are using the base, different values, but hyper uh, perpendicular distance as one unit. So we took this as one unit. So when you complete this right angle triangle, you find that the length OF, the hypotenuse for this particular right angle triangle, happens to be root three. Now let's continue further. We take OE, OF as the base of a triangle and construct a perpendicular on it. So, we constructed a perpendicular on it. So, see you find certain pattern in it, a sort of spiral is formed. So, this spiral can be made, that is you can, children you all can try out with the spiral and you can construct different or make different, different types of figure of your creation, whatever you can think. The final look that we get from here is this, this particular picture. So, this can be incorporated in your drawing to get a new figure like what see can you see this figure can you see this figure yes ma'am isn't it the spiral form that we have hmm. now look at this figure in total this has been added by the child this has been added by a child so what is now those looking at what does this look like it is some creation of the child it looks like something like mushroom so you have created something out of it so there are many things that can be created. So, I would like that every child should try out with the spiral activity to create something new so that your teacher or everybody appreciates it because that is the need of the R. You need to create something new. Fine. Now, the same thing you can do it with the paper cutting also. So, like you have this, this take a strip. Can you see? There is a strip I have taken of some width. Don't have the width of it too much. Okay. So that it becomes difficult to fold. When you have it little narrow, it will be easy for us to fold. You can have any colored strip, whatever it is, you can also color it later on also. What you do is, take up this corner and fold it in such a way that it touches the other corner, that is other side. So that way, what we find is, we are able to construct a small square, isn't it? Won't it be a square? See, you can see it. See, what I am doing is, I am folding this side, that is I am taking up this vertex to this side so that it touches that side. See, you are able to fold it. So, what we find here is uh, the small triangle. Can you see the small triangle? The small triangle, it happens to be a right angle triangle. It is 90 degree here. With this side, this side equal to this side. So, this is now an isosceles triangle. So, if you consider this as one unit, this will also be one unit. So, what will the length of this, which is the diagonal of that square, won't it be root 2? The same calculation is applicable here. So, this is 1 square plus 1 square. This becomes 
this diagonal becomes root 2. Fine? Is this okay now? So this length is root 2. Now what? See what I am doing. See, this is what you get. Now you fold it. Where you have folded this? You fold it across this edge. This one. So this way. This way I have folded it. See what I am getting? A flat. See a straight line I am getting here. Isn't it? What now you have to do is. See. Now we have. Is it visible? I am able to show it. Now, now what do you do? This part is the length that is below. Fold it in this way so that the strip that is the strip that is holds and it see this way we are able to connect it to the this is the diagonal. This is the square that we have made. This is the square that you will get. This is the square that you are getting. No? This is the square part. Hai. ये जो स्क्वायर है ये दिख गया लाइन स्क्वायर का बिकॉज दिस वर्टेक्स इज टचिंग दिस पॉइंट सी देखिए सो दैट वॉज दिस रेक्टैंग दिस कॉर्डर लेटर लेट यू फाइंड इज अ स्क्वायर वॉट आई एम डूइंग इज इसको मैं ऐसे करके फोल्ड कर दिया आपके तरफ जैसे आप अपने तरफ फोल्ड करिए एंड देन ये जो लेंथ वाला स्ट्रिप है इसको इस तरह से फोल्ड करें कि इसका जो लेंथ जो है ये फोल्ड करके ये डायगनली फोल्ड हो जाए ये डायगनली इस पर फोल्ड हो जाए ठीक है so what will the length of this side be? ये जो length है, that is from here to here. ये जो length है, from here this point we have ये जो length जो है, this is going to be ये this particular length, this particular length is nothing but this length that you see is nothing but root two. दिख रहा है मैम आपको जी मैम टू दिख रहा है दिख रहा है अब इसमें एक और ट्रिक है इसमें ये क्या करते हैं ये जो रूट टू बन गया अब व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इज इसको ये जो पार्ट है ये जो लेंथ वाइज जो पार्ट है लेंथ वाइज को आप इस तरह से फोल्ड करें कि इसके ऊपर ओवरलैप करें जिस साइड से आप फोल्ड कर रहे हैं ना जिस साइड से फोल्ड करें उसके ऊपर ओवरलैप करें इससे क्या होगा इससे क्या होगा कि ये जो साइड है इसके पपन निकल हो जाएंगे ये जो फोल्डेड साइड है ये जो फोल्ड ये साइड इसके परपेंडिकुलर हो जाएंगे जी मैम वो टू हैव दिस लेंथ दैट इज ये जो लेंथ बना दिया हमारा रूट टू था जी बिना मैम हमें उम्मीद है कि स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स जरूर आपके द्वारा निर्देशित इस एक्टिविटी को करेंगे जैसे आप बता रहे हैं वैसे साथ के साथ करेंगे जी मैम हम वाइंड अप करना चाहेंगे तो ये जो है ये लेंथ ये वन यूनिट है अब ये लेंथ ये रूट टू यूनिट है तो ये रूट टू यूनिट स्क्वायर एंड वन स्क्वायर बन गया ना रूट थ्री सो डेट मीन्स हमने जो रेक्टेंगल ये बनेगा ये जो रेक्टेंगल बनाया है हमने ये जो रेक्टेंगल बनाया है इसका एक साइड रूट टू है और एक साइड वन है फिर से वही सेम टेक्निक से हम उसके डायगनल को फोल्ड करेंगे फोल्ड करेंगे तो ये रूट थ्री लेंथ हो गया ये जो लेंथ बना है दैट इज रूट ओके मैम थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू सो मच बीना मैम आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया जी दिस दिस इज हाउ यू कैन मेक समथिंग कलरफुल एंड हैव डिफरेंट ऑफ द टाइप एंड जॉइन एंड मेक डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स जी बहुत खूबसूरत जी मैं ट्राई कर सकते हैं बच्चे जी मैम बहुत खूबसूरत और हमें उम्मीद है कि हमारे स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स जरूर इस तरह से बनाकर देखेंगे आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैम थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स इस सत्र को वाइंड अप करने से पहले हम आपसे साझा करना चाहते हैं एनसीआर टी टेक्सट बुक्स रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक्स फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर आर अवेलेबल थ्रू आउट द कंट्री एंड दीज टेक्सट बुक्स मे बी परचेज डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी सेल काउंटर्स लोकेटेड एट न्यू दिल्ली अहमदाबाद कोलकाता बेंगलुरु एंड गुवाहाटी एंड दीज सेल्स काउंटर विल बी फंक्शनल ऑन ऑल द वीक डेज इंक्लूडिंग गेजेटेड हॉलीडेज सैटरडे संडेज फ्रॉम नाइन थर्टी एम टू सिक्स पी एम you may also place order for the books online and it will be delivered at your doorstep with no delivery charges and if you want the soft copy of the pdf version you can also download it from free from e parshala diksha and mobile app so dear students and learners please visit the website ncert.nic.in to know more about the authorized vendor aur isi ke sath hamara aaj ka satra hi sampann hota hai par aap jude rahiye e vidya channel se kyunki abhi bahut sare rochak aur gyanvardhak satra aur bhi hain hame dijiye ijazat namaskar